Hi, um, I'm Tom Pearson. I am one of the five co-directors of The Night Garden. These are the questions that we were asked by the Tokyo International Film Festival. My personal background is um, theater. I would not call myself a filmmaker, actually. I would say I'm more a performance artist, an immersive storyteller, and a poet. I'm working in the film industry more than 13 years, mostly as a first AD and a producer. What inspired me to become a filmmaker? Uh, the feeling to being close to the superheroes and magical people. I don't really consider myself a filmmaker, though I have worked on several film projects and really enjoy them. I have a background in dance and theater and have worked for many years with Third Rail projects. I'm primarily a creator of experiential, um, audience-centered storytelling, um, and often that is um, takes the form of site-specific work or immersive theater. Even though we have a very different ways of thinking, very different experience, I think uh, it became possible because of the main idea of project. It's very extensive. It's our dreams and uh, how can I explain someone my dreams? The process itself for me was really really very rich um, and luxurious in terms of the time we had with it. Just associating to each other's dreams and building off of those to storyboard the ideas and then and then switching it up, sifting it around. We would each um, you know, act for each other and direct for each other and edit for each other and we would all kind of collaborate and mix it up as we went along. I love working collaboratively and I think one of the strengths and powers in that for me is that I love be being able to respond to other people's ideas and, and be inspired by that and kind of um, collage things together. And for me it was a process uh, where I worked with people who I love, where we helped uh, each of us to make some understandable story. And uh, we just worked all together uh, with each story. We helped each of us to make it whole wall. I think it became possible because we didn't expect something predictable. Can we make our dreams understandable? Can we make one language? Can we make one library? Night Garden was a completely group piece, shared piece. We worked on dream interpretation and collective storytelling, writing, taking off of each other's dreams and visuals and visions. It's a very special project one of a kind, I would say. It was the most balanced project in my life. Uh, I like artists, filmmakers, who offer you a complete world. I was deeply inspired by the worlds Tim Jarmusch offers, only Lovers Left Alive is one of my favorite films. I like the aesthetic of Bertolucci's films. I like the worlds Michel Gondry offers. I actually like artists who go into absurd worlds, exaggerated. I like magical realism in literature. I like surrealism in, in painting. Dao by Ilya Harjanovsky and Only Lovers Left Alive by Jim Jarmusch. This is two examples of directors who were doing what they truly believe in. Josef von Sternberg films with Marlene Dietrich, like those early films where they had transitioned from the silent film era into the um, into the talkies, right? But there was still like an investment in lighting and stillness and slow, um, well, well, long long periods of no dialogue. Anything that Wu Ping Yuan has choreographed is is something I, I look to for how um, how to really treat movement on camera and how to edit it. Of course, we all have a lot of different films, directors, stories that had some influence on us. 
but if you will ask uh, me about the only one film I think it will be Stalker Tarkovsky So I was uh, recently I was working um, on a set while the director uh, was in another country and uh, controlling the whole process through the Q-Take technology. It's a big step in uh, industry. I also believe we start the direction more to interactive content like VR computer game uh, filmmaking. I do you know that the limitations of what what um, was available in the early days of COVID um, opened up other channels for collaboration. And I noticed a lot of my activity shifted into the international sphere again, but in a different way. Oftentimes it's hard to get that started because of travel, because of funding, because of housing and all the things that, that complicate it. With the earlier days of COVID, the first few months, started leaning into ways in which we could start collaborations online and um, and still work together. And I think that moving forward, we'll probably move into a more hybrid um, world where some of that can begin. Uh, well, I know for myself, I, I find myself just like watching a lot more content than I used to. Um, and much of that content, I would say, is like not that great, like film and television. Uh, just because there's so much out there. Um, but it really makes me all the more hungry for something really good and something um, really inspiring. And um, I'm always looking for that. And I feel like it's, it's harder to find now because there's so much. Um, I also feel like people are watching from home so much more. Um, and you know, less less likely to go to a theater, but um, that doesn't mean that people are not watching film. Um, I know at home we, we set up a huge projector and now it feels like we almost have a theater at home, which is really magical. Yes, it changed the world, of course, and again, artists are vessels of the present, someone who can absorb everything that's happening and with the sensitivity and the skills, transform and transcend it into a different form and offer it back. So it changed what things has been created. It changed what people started looking for. But mostly what happened, I think it turned everyone more inward. Uh, we finally achieved the time where we can choose what to watch, right? And... Uh... I don't know about people, <laughs> but me personally prefer to um, watch the movies and the stories about beauty and love. I don't know what other people like to watch these days, but I know that the pandemic afforded me time to catch up because there wasn't so many new things coming out um, that were, you know, like competing for my attention. I was able to make some like really purposeful choices about what to go back, uh, what to catch up on. What I really wanted to be nurtured by. Of course, pandemic changed the world and changed people. But I think that uh, my themes are always the same because we are still people. And um, I always like uh, art that uh, makes me feel myself better. I think that artwork has a... Sometimes it's a slower um, influence but it's a longer lasting influence on culture. Even in my lifetime, I've seen so much change the way people perceive people who are different from them just by representation in film, just by representation on television. Being able to hear a story that is not yours, that is vastly a, a vastly different experience and set of conditions and circumstances and geography and, and um, you know, community allows us to develop empathy. I think it allows us to create relationship, which we need to do. We need to have relationship and, and um, a sense of a global caring for one another. Yes, of course. Of course, films like uh, every art can uh, change the world and it changes. Um, but maybe we, we can't expect it very fast. But it works, of course.
Um, I think another aspect of the way that I like to work is not having to know exactly where we're going, like having a larger concept and being able to really see where that um, takes you. I think the night garden were was an example of both of these um, qualities that I really loved, having the five of us as directors and being able to really spend time um, kind of deepening into the themes and the images and um, the dreams that we were all pulling from and like sharing ideas and images and words um, so that and like really not having a sense of where that was going um, but really allowing and finding space for the work to emerge out of that um, out of that work that we did together that is a really satisfying process for me when it can have the time and space to um, exist in that sort of like stewing place where things can emerge and clarity can come. So upcoming projects are exciting at the moment I'm in Europe and um, the few shows that I'm gonna be doing in Spain in Barcelona and um, apart from performance work I am actually working on the release of my record which is super exciting. I have uh, recordings with in collaboration with musicians and we're creating worlds audio worlds for my poetry for my spoken word pieces that I use in my performances and one of them is coming out in June it's going to be first big release for me on all the platforms it's going to be called prohibition era and I'm really excited to share it with the world I have three, three concurrent projects at the moment. One is this film, which I'm really happy is getting out uh, into the film festival circuit and being shared. And I have a book of poetry, my second book, uh, coming out in late May or early June, which is a collection of poetry and artwork. And then I also have just begun uh, work on a new collaboration for a live performance that is uh, multi-locational site specific in Seattle and New York. And um, this has been curated by artist, scholar, um, Barrett McCauley, and more to come on that soon. It's a feature film. The name is Temple. And uh... This project is about inner process that you can't see, you can't touch. It's a story about invisible transformation. And uh, what is amazing about this project, uh, it will include also film, uh, exhibition, and Polaroid book, and performing art. Fearlessness, being fearless, being true to who you are and believe and trust that your voice matters, that your world that you have to offer is unique. Take inspiration, take advice, watch things, read things, feed yourself creatively, but then throw it all out of the window. Really invest in in your ideas and your time for daydreaming and dreaming, practicing recording images as they come to you, knowing that they never come when you sit down and ask them to, but it's always when you're driving. You just have to have ways to be able to um, not miss your ideas and then really spend time with them and let the idea itself pave the way and tell you what it wants to be. Follow your heart. Don't listen to anyone. Invent your own rules. That's it. I think the only rule for every artist is to be honest with uh, yourself and uh, what you do. 
because I think and um, I'm really sure that this world needs you, needs real you. Ah, Kina Kokti, Kina Kokti!